All right, so today we are going to be doing the second grade weaving project. Now, this one is kind of a fun one because it's gonna be a decorative wall hanging and the kids can use a lot of their imagination. So when you're cutting up your clay pieces for your class, give them something roughly about the size of a softball, tennis ball to softball. And um, just a side note, you don't want to cut this too early. You want to maybe have somebody cutting this while you're doing your example in the class. So when you get into class, pass out the mats or the boards only, nothing else. You don't want them distracted by fun lightsaber wooden bars. Okay, so you're going to take your clay and you're going to kind of put it into a, a circle shape. And well, actually, here's the fun part. It can be whatever shape they want. I like a circle, but you can do a square, a triangle, a heart, whatever. And you're gonna plop it down on your mat and you're going to roll it out. Using the principles that they have learned before about flipping their clay, even pressure starting in the middle of the clay and rocking the rolling pin back and forth. And you're gonna roll and flip until they get to the right thickness. And you want to, when you're walking around and observing, you wanna make sure that they're, they're doing their best to keep even pressure so that there's not hills and valleys in their slab. So you wanna keep rolling and flipping and rolling and flipping until you get the thickness you want, which is about the thickness of a child's pinky. I'm gonna go just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit thinner now, um, this piece of clay I have, I have been using all day for videos, so it has some air bubbles in it. So if you see anything like, is that one right there? Yeah, like that when you're walking around and helping the kids, you can just pop a little hole in it and release that air. There we go. Boop. All right, so get out of there. Oh, it's like under there. All right. There we go. Wait with me, Clay. I'll show you who's boss. All right, so now I have my slab. Now you're going to cut the, let's see here. Let's do the inside part first. So the inside circle, you're gonna use, um, what are these called again? Rings. Mason jar top. Thank you. <laughs> Mason jar ring or something. Or if you have a different size uh, that you wanted to use, that's fine. And you're gonna cut out a center hole. Now what's gonna happen when you cut out that center hole is this is going to be where the weaving is going to take place. Now before we do anything else, I want you, you're going to pass out either toothpicks and or um, knives and you're gonna let the kids create their outline, their outside shape. Um, I like kind of an oblong, oblong? Asymmetrical, I like an asymmetrical weird shape. They can do a heart, they can do a wiggly line, they can do whatever they want. So this is going to be their wall hanging. So basically when it all is said and done, it's going to hang on the wall like this. But before we get to that point, we have to do some very important things. We are going to use this straw that has dried clay in it and try to get the clay out. Just kidding, we'll use that side. All right, so you're gonna pass out straws. Now the children, this is very, very, very important. You have to have an odd number of holes going around to create your weaving. So you're going to go a little ways up from your, oh, this is a bent one. A little ways up from your inner circle and you're going to do your holes all the way around. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, full of clay. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's just double check. I'm going to start him here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's not, that's not odd. All right. So I'm going to pop another one in right there. 
17. I have 17 holes, an odd number. Now, what you can do is you can go through and you can create a design. You can write a message. You can draw a picture. You can use stamps or stencils to make patterns. Let's see here. Um, this is going to be a gift, so remember who you're giving it to. I don't think your mom or your grandma or your aunt or your sister cares that much about Fortnite, so maybe leave that off. But you can do a drawing. You can write a message. Make it as pretty as you'd like. And so what is gonna go in the, in the middle? Once this is fired and glazed and fired again, we're gonna take yarn and we are going to weave through here. It's going to be, it's going to be. <laughs> uh, that will happen on a separate day. Uh, let's see here. So, Do, 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 do. All right, you, I could do this all day. When you may put their name in, remember. Yeah, and stuff on when that. you're okay. done with all your decoration, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna do name and year and room number. And then it's gonna go in a drying box. And when it goes to the drying box, the parent helpers are gonna put two more holes right there at the top, and that's where we're gonna hang the uh, the string. And it'll hang on the wall when it's all said and done. And uh, that's that. Awesome. Yeah.